Yo, 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 what is up, cave dwellers? How's everybody doing today? It's your boy, Caveman, back back with another GTA 5 solo money glitch video, guys. Hope everybody's having a good Monday, good start to the week, and just getting shit off right, man, popping it off right and positive and everything good, guys. So check this out. This is the dupe glitch that involves using the glitched crew emblem. All right, guys, now I did post this about a week ago, and I decided to post it today because this still works, guys. It works, and it's an incredibly awesome glitch. Now, not only does it work, but once I did post this glitch about a week ago, the crews filled up extremely fast, as many of you guys know, because this is such an awesome glitch, okay? So what I did was I went ahead and glitched out the crew emblem to both caveman, cave dweller groups, okay? So both crews on PS4 and on xbox guys if you join the cave dweller crew which i'm going to leave down a link in the description and in my pinned comment go ahead and join the crew so that you can do this glitch okay now i would get on this glitch really fast guys because this is an awesome glitch and being that it's monday night this could get passed by tomorrow so definitely hop on this glitch as soon as possible so i want to go ahead and give a huge shout out from the get-go to the founder of the glitch Eastside boy i'm going to leave down a link in the description to his channel guys go check him out and show him some love now, guys, don't forget, if you make a little money with this and you enjoy the video, please smash the like button for your boy. Also, don't forget, if you have any issues, comment below and I got you. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, guys, so you don't miss out on any future glitches. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch, guys, is obviously a nightclub. You're going to need a nightclub and you're going to need basement level garage 2, 3, and 4. Now, you're also going to need a car to duplicate. As always, I recommend this new Arena War Issy. When you sell these vehicles, guys, a lot of you guys seem to be confused. When you sell the vehicles, you're not really making the money from the sale of the vehicle. You're making the money from the upgrades on the vehicle. And these new Arena War vehicles have a shitload of upgrades, so they sell for the most. Get you an Arena War vehicle, guys, or any Benny's vehicle will still work. But Arena War vehicles sell for the most. Now, as you see here in my B2 garage, I have the car that I want to duplicate, the Issy in spot one, and the rest is filled with RHAs. Now, as you can see here, slot 10, 9, and 8 are RHAs that have the crew emblem on them. Make sure you have this set up. You need at least three cars with a crew emblem on them, guys. Now, right now, I am not in a glitched crew. This is why you can see the crew emblem, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys that you have to have at least three cars with a glitched crew emblem on there. And you cannot use these cars to dupe, okay? You must leave them in here in order for this glitch to work. Now, once you have three cars set up the way I have it right here, you're going to go into your online options and you're going to go and switch your crew. Now, when you switch your crew, you're going to join the cave dweller crew, which I told you guys, I'm leaving a link down in the description, guys. When you join this, you see right, how right there it won't even load up. You see what I'm talking about? That's because I glitched out the crew emblem and the crew won't even load up. It's a valid crew and you can join it, but it will not load up. Okay, guys. So that's how you know you got a glitch crew. You're going to go ahead and join it. And when you join this thing online, what it's going to do is going to kick you into the character selection screen. Now, when you get to the character selection screen, guys, we're not going to go ahead and, and select the character. What we're going to do is we're going to hit circle or B if you're on Xbox. OK, guys, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to just back out to go into story mode. Now, we're going to do this so that we can go once in story mode, we can start up our own invite only session and not have to worry about anybody. We can dupe away all day long and nobody messes with us. Now, you guys that are, are noticing, I am doing this on Xbox because the last time I posted this glitch, I posted it on PS4, but this works exactly the same way. I just wanted to show all my dudes on Xbox, yo, it works on Xbox also, okay, guys? So as you see here, all I'm doing is I, once I hit once I hit to the story mode, I'm going to go ahead and put myself into an invite-only session. Once I'm into an invite-only session, as you see here, guys, now that I'm in the glitched crew and I come into my nightclub, those three cars with the glitched crew emblem have disappeared, okay? They're still there, okay? They're still there. And I'm going to show you right now that these cars are still there, but they're invisible, guys, and they will respawn and disappear and respawn and disappear. But for this glitch to work, you have to have them invisible, guys. So if you come back in and they're not invisible, as you saw me, they're invisible, they're good to go. So if yours are invisible, when you come back, 
back on, you're good to go. But if they are not invisible, you're going to want to do just like you see me do here. You're going to want to register as a motorcycle club president. Once you register as a motorcycle club president, then you're going to go ahead and swap these cars around. When you swap the cars around, those three vehicles, they disappear, guys. Just like you see me do in the gameplay, I'm going to go ahead and pick up car number 10. And I'm simply just going to swap it up with car number 9. As I do that, it disappears. And when I swap number 9 with number 8, that disappears. Now that I have all three cars disappeared, glitched out, this is a must, guys. This is what helps this glitch work. If your cars are not disappeared, it's going to be incredibly hard to do this next part at the door. The glitched cars is what allows you and gives you the time to start up the job. So once we're set up, we're good to go. We're going to go over to the door and go into garage number three. OK, so I'm going to pick garage number three and simply turn right back around and face the door. Now I'm going to hover over garage number two. And at the exact same time, I'm going to hit X or A on two and release the options, guys. Once I do that, I'm going to immediately go ahead and start up any Rockstar created mission. So I'm going to start up Titan of a Job and I'm just going to back out once I get into Titan of a Job, guys. But you see that right there? You don't have to do that fast if you have three cars in your garage glitched out, okay? It gives you more than enough time to start the job. Once you back out of the job, you're simply going to turn right back around. And once it gives you the option to pick a fourth garage, you pick garage number four. Pick a different garage than the garage that has the car that you want to duplicate or the garage that you were just in. So you're going to pick garage number four and nothing should happen. You run over to your vehicle management and you're going to go ahead and swap the ISI with the RH8 that's right next to it. As you see on the list, guys, it changes on the list, but it does not change on the floor. That's perfectly fine. You're going to hop into this ISI, which is really an RH8. When you come outside, now that's when it's officially duped, okay? This car is now a complete duplicate, but it's not saved. So in order to save this, guys, we have to have an MOC with personal vehicle storage. We're going to go ahead and call out the MOC and drive it up to the MOC. Hit right D-pad, even though it does not give you the option, and you're going to go ahead and drive it in. If you have a vehicle in there, as you see me, it does not matter, okay? You're going to go ahead and drive in. Once you're in there, wait for the orange loading circle to make sure your car is saved. Once you have the orange loading circle, you get right back in your car, guys, and drive it out of the MOC. Once we're back out of the MOC, we're driving the car right back over to the nightclub to the exact same garage, guys. And your car is fully saved, good to go. And we're going to go ahead now, simply just store the car right back into the nightclub. Now, that's the issue that was in my MOC. I'm just going to shoot it right back over to my MOC. And there I have my brand new dupe and my original issue. As you see right here, guys, super, super easy and super, super fast. I'm going to go ahead and hit you with a rinse and repeat real quick so you see what I'm talking about, okay? This is how fast it is. We run right back over to the door, guys. We're going to go ahead and pick garage number three, just like before. Once we go to garage number three, just like before, guys, we're just going to turn right back around, okay? Right back around and face the door. We're going to hover over garage number two and hold your options. Now, at the exact same time that you select the garage, you want to release the options. If that does not work, guys, then you want to go ahead and select the garage and not even a millisecond later, release your options. Play with those two timings because that can be different for everyone. Once you do, you should get the start menu with the black screen behind you, just like you saw. And you're simply going to go ahead and start up Titan of a Job, guys. We're going to start up any Rockstar created mission, but Titan of a Job is first up. So just start up Titan of a Job and back out. When you back out, you immediately turn right back around, guys. And when it gives you the option to choose a different garage, you choose a different garage other than the last two you were just using. Nothing should happen and you run right over to your blue circle, your vehicle management circle. Once again, we're going to grab an ISI and swap it with one of the free RH8s. It changes on the list, but not on the floor. So as you see here, you, you think you're getting into an ISI, but you're actually getting into an RH8. When you drive it outside, guys, that's when it actually turns into the ISI, okay? So once you're outside, now you officially have a duplicated vehicle, but you must save it again, okay? So to save it just like before, call out your MOC. Make sure your MOC spawns, drive it over to the MOC, hit right D-pad, and you're going to drive it into the MOC. Once you're into the MOC, remember you need personal vehicle storage or it will not let you save it. You're going to wait for the orange loading circle. Once you have that orange loading circle, you know your car is saved. Now you back out of the MOC, just drive it out and then simply take it right back to your nightclub, guys. And we're good. Rinse and repeat over and over and over again. This glitch is really good and I really Really, really recommend you guys get on this shit fast.
because this could be patched by tomorrow. And a glitch like this, completely solo, this easy, and fast rinse and repeat does not come around very often, guys. So I recommend you guys get on this thing, make that money, and stack up some issues, baby, because this is good, all right, guys? So you already know, man, you have any issues with the glitch, hit me down below, leave a comment, and I'm going to help you out. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe with post notifications so you don't miss out on future glitches. And don't forget to smash the like button for your boy because it really helps me out. It's your boy, Caveman. I'm out, guys. Peace.